Hey Phoenixies, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this beautiful fairy house with just some natural materials. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've taken this plastic bowl over here and it's completely white. It's optional guys, you can use any other color because after all, we just have to paint it. So I'll just take this cardboard circle as a base and I'll stick those parts together. Then as you can see this is a brown card paper and I have taken this cutout out of it. Then these tiny small pieces of the same cardboard and I will be attaching them to the door. So I will just use my tweezers and do the work and once that is done let's do the window as well. So after the window is done this is how it looks. Now I will just start th attaching these two parts as the window openings. Okay, so once that is done, I'll just take this very, you can say it's a very light card paper or cardboard and I'll just tear out some pieces out of it. Then I'll just start sticking them one by one. And don't worry, you don't have to be accurate. You just can stick this anywhere and that's the texture we want for this fairy house. So I'll just repeat the same thing on this one part as well. And now let's fold them into a cylindrical shape. Okay, so once this is done, as you can see, this is how it looks. Now I'll just repeat the same thing on the other one as well. And you can see the size difference. Now let's take this part over here. So the hole I've made it because you can also attach some fairy lights inside it and use it as a lamp. Or you can gift it to anybody. You can use it anyhow, any way you want. So then I'll just stick it over here and then I'll just close this part with the circle, cut paper circle and then the other one as well. And then the up half will be of this cut paper and I'll just make a cone shape and then I'll stick it over here. Alright so once that is done I'll now stick this step over here outside the door and then I'll take this textured cardboard and it's a lining textured cardboard I'll just take out cut some stripes and then some pieces out of it so once that is done I'll just roll them and then I'll start sticking them over here so one by one I'll stick them over here and then on the top half as well so this card paper and cardboard is also made out of paper and that comes from trees. So basically this is a project completely made out of natural materials. So I'll just take some pieces over here as well and then for the door I'll just take the same cutout which I had it earlier and then I'll just start sticking these cardboard stripes on top of it one by one. And once that is done, you just have to cut out the rest of them. And ta-da, the door is now ready. Now I'll stick these two stripes on top of it. Okay, so once that is done, I'll just take this door over here. And this door will be closed. And the other one will just be a little bit half opening. And once that is done, this is another very tiny piece of the same thing which I did for the main building. And I'll just stick this coiling over here and then I'll just stick it to the main building making a hole inside it okay so once this is now done now let's start making the steps so for that you can see these are some half semicircles I've cut out of the same cardboard and then I'll stick them on top of each other one by one Alright so this is the staircase and these are the steps so I'll just stick it over here. So once that is done I've made a hole over here and this is a stick that I found lying in my garden and then I'll just take some cut pieces and I'll stick it over here. So once that is done these are some nice tiny pebbles which I found them in my garden as well and I'll just stick them over here and don't worry guys so doubt that you can take any kinds of pebbles over here I've taken the grey ones and you just have to make this part over here just for the water pond and 
once that is done you'll just take the same thin very light cut paper and I'll just stick it over here as the steps okay so once this is done I'll just take these sticks again and I'll just cut them into very small pieces you can also use your fingers and break them apart and once that is done you have to stick them over here just for the layers and the boundary and once that is done you just have to use you can use any kind of tools and then you have to take this cardboard you have to fold it into half and then start sticking these sticks on top of it just to make the bridge and then on the corners as well so this is the bridge and we'll not stick it over here right now first we'll just take these openings of the windows and then let's start making the fairy and this is a very tiny tinker fairy so for that i've tried to not use any kinds of wires or clay what i'm using is that these are just some white coilings for the body base and then this is a tissue paper i'll just cut it into a small bowl put some water and add some glue over here then mix it into a thick paste and basically into a mesh and once that is done i'll just start applying it on the body and this time guys i haven't used any kinds of clay just to make it very easy for you guys by chance you don't have your clay ready with you then you can use this process and make your own tinker fairy so now after the perfect body i'll just make only up half body because the other part you can see in the video further on how i'll make so you can just make a half tinker fairy So then what you have to do once it gets dried little by little you have to keep on applying these tissue mesh let it dry for some time then again you have to apply some tissue then let it dry so you have to keep applying this until you are happy with the results because if the tissue is completely wet and you keep on applying it you won't be happy with the results so make sure you do that. Once that is done, by the time the fairy gets dry, let's start painting the fairy house. So for the top half, I'll just paint it red and I'm using acrylic paints. Then this part also the same color as well, this part as well. And once these paint parts are now nicely painted, now what I'll do is that I'll take this brush and start painting this part with some grey color and this part as well. Then this you know the bowl we used we'll just paint that also then this part is a very nice yellowish color and once the paint is now nice and dry you can see how it light it looks then you'll just take some brown paint and dab it into the middle of those cardboards and then start painting of course the ground which is the green color so that's what it is and once that is done you just have to paint it very nicely and highlight it using some lighter shades if you want and then of course the pond we'll just paint it blue for the water and then the tree as well you can keep it as it is but mine was very light in color so I decided to paint it a little darker then some white acrylic paint and some brown acrylic paints over here as well Then guys, I'll start painting the door. So once that is done, now let's start making the tree. So for the tree leaves, I've taken this very beautiful bright green color wool. And I'll just keep on rolling like this into a zigzag shape. And then I'll just tie it from the middle and then from the one end. So make sure you do that and then you have to tie a knot then you have to cut it with the scissors so it will look something like this basically you have to make a pom pom kind of thing but into a half shape so then I'll just comb it once that is done it will look something like this so now what I'll do is that I'll take my glue gun and pour some glue in the pond just to give the natural water effect then put apply the tree and the bridge as well now my 
fairy is nice and dry so what I'll do is that I'll start painting this so for that I'm using the skin color and the dress will be very nice blue color so for that I'll just paint the top half of the body with the same blue color and then the hairs will be brown of course now I'll take this mesh fabric and it's a sequins mesh fabric I'll just make a ruffle out of it and then I'll stick it over here so this will give you the illusion of the other half of the body so you don't have to make the complete doll it's very very easy guys anyone can make this so I tried to give you the most easiest method possible then I'll take this tra thick translucent sheet cover it with some glitter and that will be the wings then I'll attach this doll half part on this part and tada this is the final video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that whenever i post a new video you will be notified till next time bye bye